Welcome back to Squawk Box, everybody. Right now, it's time for the Executive Edge. Shares of drug retailers tumbled on Friday after reports that Amazon was considering selling drugs online. Analyst and frequent Squawk Box guest Anna Gupta wrote, that her, wrote to her clients that Amazon is reportedly in discussions with mid-market pharmacy benefits managers and has been hiring talent to assess the drug retailing market for its entry. And according to an email from Amazon that was viewed by CNBC, the retail giant will make a decision about prescription drugs by Thanksgiving, at least American Thanksgiving, not Canadian Thanksgiving. Which is, which today. is today. And Martin Screlly doesn't seem to mind prison life. The so-called pharma bro penning a letter to a friend detailing his time behind bars as he awaits his sentencing. Screlly uh, says in his words, things are not that awful here. He's apparently reading shooting hoops and playing chess. Uh, he added, I'm teaching these prisoners some new things and hopefully uh, some ways to change their lives. Uh, but uh, Screlly did note, <laughs> Adami, don't, I'm not, this is going to be without comment, did note some downside. His cellmate snores and his bed is cramped and uncomfortable. You get that Zipa thing in the, in the, in the, in the in the, in the pen there. You know Zipa? You ever hear those commercials? Like Zika? Zipa. It's, it's happy Z backwards. And apparently it relieves you of the snoring that keeps your significant other awake. So maybe Mr. Shrelly in the can can get some Zipas for his buddies and make everybody happy. Okay. No? It's it, just one of those stories that's just better left, uh, just not... So you didn't want me to go down that you road. You called his soulmate a significant other. That's a problem. I right didn't there. call... No, 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 no. No, no I did not, not call said. his soulmate. Well, that's it's what I thought you were... Impl I'm not going to do anything with this prison story. I don't think prison stories are just something... Then just, why was it in the... Tell? Why I don't you know read why it? they put it in Ask there. Ask Quail what it was doing in there. You trying to set us up, Quail? No, it's just a story. He likes prison, and he's teaching, you know, let's just... Let's go to Dove. This is unbelievable. Did you see this? What were they thinking? I have no idea. This is another one we might get ourselves in trouble right. with, but Dove dropping its latest ad campaign after drawing tons of criticism. The company first posted a three-second GIF ad or GIF ad, whatever they're called, to Facebook showing a black woman removing her brown shirt to reveal a white woman and a white shirt underneath. Many people were outraged by the ad, calling it racist. The company has since apologized, saying that it is committed to representing the beauty of diversity, adding that it missed the mark with this ad. Okay, so that's what they were trying to show was diversity or something, right? I mean, yeah, it, I guess they were just when trying it was to... pitched by the Madison Avenue, whomever pitched it, what do you think they? The, what do you think the rationale was? So I don't. I didn't even understand how. I don't understand it. To tell you the truth, it's. I don't know. Uh, Weird. But it, it, you know, it. Someone should have said, are you sure? Yeah, that, uh, not the best idea. Right? Right. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.